to Monza for the sixth round of the Euro Formula Open season. We're starting to get into the very busy end of season running. And the big question is, can anybody take the title fight to Harrison Scott? The Brit has been in imperious form so far this year. He scored back-to-back -back victories last month at Silverstone. But Monza is all about slipstreaming, so he should be in some great racing and maybe some unusual results. Let's have a look at the very best of the action. And it was a jump from pole position for Harrison Scott as he anticipated the start excellently and led the field as they sprinted towards the Retifilio for the first time. Behind, though, everything was to play for as it was side by side for second position. Gianni Ficci, though, was able to tip through in second place initially as somehow they all made it through the opening exchanges without getting into any trouble. Matteo Siorio had a torrid afternoon, started with that trip through the gravel trap at the second Lesmo on the first lap of the race. Meanwhile, Nikita Troitsky was quick to move up into second position and Gianni Fischer and them was able to break clear. They were then treated to a race-long scrap for third place where Fischer and Simo Laxnen were the principal protagonists. Eventually, the German who was able to prevail. Harrison's got though a ninth victory of the campaign. Dominant performance and a step closer to the championship. Delight for the RP Motorsport team celebrating a home victory. Second place and the rookie win for Nikita Troitsky. With Yanni Fitcher, the second rookie, completing the outright race podium ahead of Simo Laxnan and the mayor of Idenitham. Last lap, last corner disaster. Pedro Coloso and Daniel Liu tangling and into the gravel. Not they mattered. Harrison's got an RP Motorsport victorious again. No, definitely not. Um, obviously a great feeling. Here at Monza in the first race, yeah, to get the, the first win of the weekend was fantastic, obviously. Home race for the team as well. Lots and lots of guests for them and um, yeah, to get the win in the first race was just yeah, remarkable. I guess Monza is a sort of special place, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it's, the racing here is always so close. Showed that in qualifying this morning, obviously only half a tenth gap, but um, luckily enough I managed to get a, get a good start, get off the line well and um, yeah, I think let them battle behind and got the gap. Good, and a big step forward towards the championship. Yes, exactly. That's, that was the goal coming into this year and um, yeah, another win's obviously putting us closer to that, but need to stay focused, keep racking up the points and uh, see what happens. The race was really a 35 minute highlight reel of its own, but let's take a look back at the best of it as Harrison Scott leapt away from pole position to lead towards the Retofilio, but before he even got there, there was trouble. Ludovico Laurini and Devlin De Francesco tangled, the Canadian out of the race in the middle of the road, and therefore the safety car was scrambled before the field even made it through the opening complex. That brought them under control for a few moments, and then when we did get back racing, it was quite ferocious. Yanni Fitcher in the thick of the action as Harrison Scott again was building a buffer at the front of the field. Thiago Vivacqua and Daniel Liu having a coming together, and Vivacqua's puncture, forcing his leading into retirement, prompting the second safety car. Meanwhile, Taron Reddy and the Mayor of Idenithen had a high speed coming together into Lesmo 2, and that put them both out of the race. Yanni Fitcher raced through to overhaul Simulaxon and late on was going to second, but really it was all about Harrison Scott, his 10th win of the season, and that was enough to crown him the 2017 Euro Formula Open champion in dominant fashion at the home event of his team, RP Motorsport, who scored a 1 2 on the day with similar accident completing the podium. I don't know what to say. Fantastic year. Um, obviously, big thanks to RP. The car has been phenomenal every single round. We just keep getting stronger and stronger. We set the bar pretty high at Estoril at the first round, but every weekend we've come away and we've done done so well as a team. Everyone's improving as well. So no, I, I couldn't thank the guys enough, and it feels it feels it feels mega. How you feel? Unbelievable. It's been um, it's been a long time coming in cars to get my first championship. So. 
to get it um, in the way we did, just yeah, I feel it feels fantastic. I feel brilliant. Um, just again, big thanks to the team. It was just mega, mega all year.